So today I'm going to talk about some of my luckier moments uh, driving. Um, I don't recommend any of this to anybody, but these are just a couple of things that I experienced while uh, driving. Um, I have a lot of stories when it comes down to driving because I love to drive, but these are a couple of the moments that stuck in my head uh, that I could just come up with real quickly here. Uh, first one actually was when I first got my license and getting on to the highway. I had a car that the radio kind of just sat in the wheel well or whatever you'd call it, uh, right there between the passenger and drivers. So, of course, just like every kid, you know, you just hook up the radio however. It don't have to actually be in place, right? So, I'm adjusting the radio and as I'm adjusting the radio, the radio slides over to the passenger side. So I scoot over to grab it. And as I do that, I'm getting on 95 and lose control of the car. I end up doing a 360 plus another 180. And here I find myself facing rush hour traffic in the middle of the highway. Uh, panicking to say the least. I managed to get off the side of the road, and when I got off the side of the road, what did I do? I jumped out, and I looked under the car, and I looked under the hood like there was something wrong with the car. Uh, and the cop pulls over, and he's like, what are you doing? I said, I don't know. Something happened. I don't know what happened. I played totally stupid, and he says, well, you better have that checked out. One of my next stories, I was driving down a road alongside a canal, doing about 90 miles an hour. Once again, not the proper speed. Uh, for me, at least, it never was the proper speed. I, I, I definitely had a lead foot and probably still do at times. Evidently, I got a ticket a couple of weeks back, so I guess that says what, how, how well I've learned my lesson. Anyways, driving down and I get pulled over by the cops. Cop looks at me and says, you know you're doing 90 and the speed limit here is 55. I'm like, yes sir, I know, I apologize. His comment was, well, you need to slow down so you don't fall into the canal because if you go into the canal, I'm not coming in to get you. He says, is that a good enough answer for you right now? He says, I'm not giving you a ticket, just slow down. I felt relieved, to say the least, definitely relieved. Another moment was coming home from a bar and I definitely do not recommend this. I have learned my lesson. I've had a DUI, but I will say I did get lucky my first time, and it was six months later that I got the DUI, so it just goes to prove I should have learned my lesson the first time. Driving home, not even three blocks from my house, I get pulled over by the cops. They have me doing a DUI test, out in the middle of the pouring rain. I sucked. I couldn't do it. I knew I didn't do it. They told me to go sit in the car. After the rain stopped, they had me do it again. And I know I failed. So, me being the not quite so sober person, as they came over to the car, they said, we're going to let you go home because you are close to home. And me being the smart ass that I am, First thing says, so how did I do? He's there, let's just say you're going home and you did all right. And I was like, really? Because I can't do that when I'm not drunk. Amazingly, he let me go home. And the last story actually happened to a friend of mine, but I was the passenger. Actually, I did drive some. Uh, driving from Florida to Massachusetts, we did it in 19 hours. Average time typically is 24. We got up there and my friend is talking to all my family and he, I didn't even think about what he would say or anything. Nobody was questioning about the amount of time it took us. And I see him over talking to my uncle. And I get over there and sure as shit, he's telling him how, how fast we did, we went doing 125 to 135 miles an hour to make it there. After I kept trying to tell him, 
stop, stop, stop. Don't tell my uncle this. Don't tell my uncle this. He said, Jeff, will you shut up? Just leave me alone. I'm just finish. Let me finish my story. I was like, no problem. He finishes telling him the story. And I says, now, can I introduce you to my uncle? He's a state trooper from Massachusetts. Okay, that's all I have for today. I really was trying to think up ideas today. I had a long day at work and really my mind was not in its right place. So I hope you enjoyed the couple of stories I have and see you tomorrow. Bye.